guys, Horshin Bell here. Hope you're all doing good. By the way, the video topic for today is I'm going to be teaching you how to juggle with three balls. Let's get started. Okay, so first what you want to do is get one ball, drop the other two. Okay, one ball. What you want to do with it is just practice going from throwing your ball from one hand to the other hand. See, you don't want that. It has to be in a straight line. Okay? It shouldn't be going like this. It shouldn't be going like this or this or this. You just need it to go make good shape like this. So imagine there's like a path here and I'm just throwing the ball through that path. Okay? You want the ball to go through that path. You don't want it to go through this, this. Okay? Just get it to go through that path. And this is key to learning how to juggle three balls. So please learn this before we move on to the next step. Okay, so for the next step, what you'll need is, we're gonna be starting with two balls now. For the next step. Okay, so I have two balls. What I'm gonna do now is, I told you to pass this ball from here to here, right? What I'm gonna be teaching you now is when you pass this ball from here to here, you need some space to put this ball here, right? So when I throw this ball, there is no space for me to put, to have this ball land in my hand. So what I have to do then is after I throw this, this is coming in like this, I throw this ball, so then this ball goes up and this ball is coming down. It comes into my hand, this ball is up, then I get this hand ready and I catch it. So I'll do this and I'll play it in slow motion for you so that you can get it. Okay guys, let's get started. As you can see, um, I'm throwing my first ball, I'm throwing it up, and when it's in mid-air, I'm throwing my other ball up, and then I'm catching them both. So, a phrase that I use that makes it easy for me to do it is throw, throw, catch, catch. So throw from my right hand, and then throw from my left hand, and then catch from my right hand, and catch from my left hand. So we're basically, when I throw the ball up, my first ball up, and it's in mid-air, I throw the second ball up, and then I catch them both, okay? You can see that really clearly in the slow motion. So, yep, let's move on to the next step, and make sure to practice this really, really well. Now we're going to actually start our juggling. So I have three balls now. Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing is I have the third ball and how I'm gonna be holding the third ball is I'm gonna be holding, I like to hold both the balls on my non-dominant hand. It's just how I practice, but if you don't want to have that, then you can practice with your dominant hand and have both the balls on your dominant hand, but I feel better using, using it with my non-dominant hand, okay? Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is first we're going to be throwing this ball and not this ball. Don't throw them both at the same time, okay? We're only going to be throwing one ball. Even though there's two balls in my hand, we're only going to be throwing one ball, okay? So let's hold these two balls in our non-dominant hand and let's practice the one-two catch-catch thing with this ball here. Don't throw this ball, okay? One, two, catch, catch. Just practice catching it with that ball there and like find a way to catch it because there isn't enough space, right? You need to practice that because that's gonna be a key thing that you need for juggling three balls. Two, oh. I went further on, wait. One, two, catch, catch. One, two, catch, catch. One, two, catch, catch. So if you notice, I'm always, if you notice, I'm always, like, I have this other ball here. I always catch it with these two fingers. My ring finger, my pinky finger, and my thumb. And most of the times I only use this middle finger and index finger to hold the top ball. But sometimes I use my thumb too. So this is a 
correct way to hold it. And for your one ball in your hand, I just and for your one ball in your hand, I just hold it like this. Okay, so if you got that down and you're comfortable with having two balls in your hand and doing a one, two, catch, catch thing, let's go to how Okay guys, so I want you to get your three balls for this and be ready and do this along with me. And I want you to try it, okay? As I'm saying this, I want you to try it with me. So let's get started. Um, what we're going to be doing first is, as I said for the throw, throw, catch, catch sequence, we're going to be doing that. So I have two balls in my non-dominant hand. What I'm going to be doing with them is I told you that I have, I hold my first ball in my index finger and middle finger, right? I'm gonna be throwing that ball up first, and then I'm gonna be throwing the other ball from my other hand up. So you don't you don't want to throw both of the balls from your left hand or non-dominant hand. You don't want to throw both of those balls up at the same time. So you want to first throw one ball from that non-dominant hand, and then throw another ball from the dominant hand. Non-dominant hand, and then dominant hand, and then back to non-dominant. So. When you throw your first ball up, when it's in mid-air, you want to throw your other ball up. And then you're not going to stop there like the throw-throw-catch-catch catch sequence does. You're going to keep going, and then you're going to start throwing your third ball. So, I have a phrase for this too. What it is, is um, throw, 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 throw. I know that really doesn't make any sense because there's no catch catch part. The catch catch is only when like you're holding the ball and you're not going to throw it up again, okay? So I basically want you to not have you shouldn't be having two balls in the same hand when you when you already started juggling, okay? But when you're starting, you should have two balls, throw one of the balls from your non-dominant hand up and then throw one of the balls from your dominant hand up and then throw the third ball from your non-dominant hand up. I know this is really confusing. That's why I'm asking you to get your three juggling balls and do this with me while you're watching the footage because this is the most important part to learning the three juggling, to learn how to juggle three balls, okay? So, yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, now we're back. And you saw that slow motion clip and me talking to you how to do it. So, we're just going to be throwing this ball, and before this ball comes here, we're going to be throwing this ball, which is a 1-2 catch-catch technique. So when we do that, there's still a ball here, right? So we want to throw that again. We don't want to have two balls in the same hand, as I told you in that slow motion, okay? So here's some footage of me juggling three balls. 